Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. I... I found toilet paper! What's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber guys and we are back out here on a toy hunt, food hunt, um, sanitary stuff hunt. Um, if you guys are worried about me, I'm good. I got my gloves on. I got my mask on right there as you guys saw. That's why you hear the muffled speech. Uh, so don't worry because I'm usually out every day anyways because I work. I still work. I'm an essential employee. So we're out here. Um, I have to go to a few places. I have to go to Target, pick up some food. Um, and then I have to, uh, sorry, I was waving the guy so he can turn. Uh, I have to pick up some food, uh, pick up some sanitary wipes if I can find some. I'm early in the morning. Look at the sun. The sun is out, man. It's out. I have to pick up uh, some food. Um, sanitary wipes at Target and since I'm at Target I'm gonna see what they got uh, as far as action figures are concerned uh, I'm pretty well prepared I've been prepared for this uh, from the very beginning and also since I'm out and over by Target I'm actually gonna go head over to GameStop see what they got and then possibly pick up something to eat and then head home for the rest of the day guys so hope you guys enjoy this little toy hunt food hunt uh, sanitary hunt uh, so stay tuned all right guys so there is target over there to my right i am prepared man i'm early in the morning it's like 8 30 in the morning man i'm usually an early bird i wake up freaking early it doesn't look like there's too many people there um target is always there's always somebody in freaking target dude but um see if i can find some sanitary wipes uh some food see what they got as far as action figures are concerned probably not much but we're going to take a look anyway since we're here to pick up some essential stuff. So let's do this. Look at this Toy Story 4 toy set for 50 bucks. Not bad. Ooh, look at this Indominus Rex for 40. Dude, he looks freaking cool. A lot of Jurassic Park stuff. How badly do I need an Indominus Rex? We meet again. Star Wars. Power Rangers. They still have a bunch of the Cosmic Ghost Riders and Squirrel Girl. And look, they actually have Black Widow. Which I'm not interested in picking up because I don't really care. I don't even, I don't have a Black Widow in my collection, but... I'm not really interested. Fantastic Four, a bunch of Spider-Men. Surprised that they have... <laughs> New Marvel Legends stuff. I guess Black Widow was not that popular. Okay, we are here at the NECA section. Oh, it's just the same old Predators. Nothing really new. Arachnoid, Alien, Mother Alien. I think the same stuff they had last time. More of the Shredders here. Jason, Friday the 13th. Got some of the Emissary Predators. Uh, nothing new as far as NECA is concerned. Hey, what's up guys? Alright, so uh, just left Target. I'm going to shoot over here across the street over here to Walmart and see what they got before I hit up GameStop because GameStop's not open yet. So we're going to hit up Walmart real quick. Nothing really new at Walmart. Look at this guy. Adventure Forces. Astronaut versus Ultra. 
XOR? XOR? Interesting, interesting. Toy Story. Oh, here's this Darth Vader. I have the Chewbacca. Uh, Star Wars, Jabba's Palace. Is this three inch? I think it looks like three inch. Three and three quarter inch. King Kong, Batman, Godzilla, Transformers. Alien. Nothing new with the Marvel Legends. And then Batman. Ben 10 figures. Okay guys, so I pulled up the GameStop and it looks like it is closed. It is not open, so it's temporarily closed at the moment, which kind of sucks. You'd think GameStop would be open, but I guess it's not essential. <laughs> Video games are essential. But I guess this particular one is not open. Um, I don't think it's all GameStops because I've seen some GameStops that are open. So probably what I'm going to do now, guys, is just go... Uh, Go to Taco Bell. So it should be open right now. Grab myself something to eat real quick, man. I'm hungry, and I'm going to go head home and show you guys what I bought. There's Home Depot. I don't need anything at Home Depot at this moment. So, But, yeah, I'm heading to Taco Bell, grab something to eat, and then I'm about to uh, head home. Peace. Here we go. Pulling up to Taco Bell. It better be open. It better be open. It's 10 o'clock. There you are, the love of my life. I see, look at it, I see a truck in the drive-thru. He's got my thoughts exactly. Yeah, let's get some food. Hey guys, so I, I uh, filled up my fridge right here. I got all the stuff I wanted to get. Some organic chicken strips, some chunky breast chicken strips, uh, waffle snack bites. Yeah man, filled up a big time. Sweet potato fries. Down here, some more stuff that couldn't fit into the freezer. Got all my juices, my drinks, and I'm good to go, man. I'm making some corn, corn on the cob right now. Got some sh chocolate chip peanut butter cookies. I got a whiny cat. Pow! All right, so I didn't find anything in my toy hunt, guys. But I did find Lady, well actually I didn't find her, she actually came in the mail. Uh, I got her off the internet, Lady Death, this is the giant size as you guys can see. She's like bigger than my hand. This is the 12 inch version of Lady Death right here. Can't wait to do a review of her guys, I got a sword with her, she comes with a sword. So I actually have a space right over here for her. So this is where Lady Death is going to be going right here. As you guys can see, I put my God of War uh, figures right here with uh, Planet of the Eight figure on his horse because he doesn't really go with anything. I decided to put the video game God of War figures over here because I wanted to make some room on my NECA shelf over there uh, just to free up some room because the God of War figures really didn't fit into my format of what I was trying to do. And then come below here, then I have the Borderland figures um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this sh yet. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to keep them right there because I have some more Borderland figures. Um, I might be buying more Borderland figures if they do come out with some more figures. And then drop down to my third shelf and then I have all the ladies of Spawn right here. I gave them their own shelf because I was kind of running out of room on my, on my Spawn shelf over there. Speaking of Spawn, I moved... My Adventures of Spawn figures right here to this shelf. Gave them their own little shelf. I think it looks better. They look better over here than they did over there. Um, here's my Spawn collection coming along. <laughs> Dude, if you guys want to see my Spawn collection, you can. I you guys can always uh, check out my video, my Spawn collection that I did a couple years ago. I might do an updated version of my Spawn collection. I'm not for sure yet. Um, Maybe, maybe in a month from now or a couple months from now, I might do another Spawn Collection video because, as you guys can see, I have quite a few Spawn figures right here. Um, if you guys want to know about any of these figures, like I said, check out my Spawn Collection video. And a lot of these shelves are Spawn-related 
right here, except for the video game shelf and just a, a bunch of stuff, random stuff right there. If you're wondering what was in the spawn, the spawn containers right here, we have the spawn four, and then we have this other spawn figure right here in the blue variant, if you're wondering. So yeah, uh, nothing on my toy hunt, but I did rearrange my shelf, my Marvel Legends shelf right here. And then, um, yeah, everything is kind of coming along. I definitely want to get another shelf over here for my Marvel Select figure site, because I do have some Marvel Select figures that are coming in the mail. But I do have room up here, uh, still more room up here uh, for my Marvel Select collection if i said marvel legends because i you know oh and i did find a room for my batmobile for this shelf right here so i put my batmobile shelf up there alongside with my dc collection if you can see them i kind of arranged them rearranged them so everything is coming along good guys my uh my shelf my toy room is very organized for once i have everything where i kind of want them and uh yeah there you guys have it uh i'll probably do an update on my toy room eventually even though i did one last year but i might do another update who knows because i've accumulated so many figures since then so all right guys so there you guys have it if you like this little review our toy hunt our food hunt whatever the hell you want to call it hit the like button comment subscribe hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool epic shit like this and yeah man stay tuned for her. i'm going to be doing a review on her soon of lady death so I want to thank you guys for watching in. I'll catch you guys in the next review. Bye.